Hello and welcome to WOW Enterprises, where you will find everything horses and healing. Tonight we are excited to bring to life for you a vision that was shown to me in 2012. The first ever WOW Enterprises spiritual church in the barn, with the horses. Before we get started, we would like to share some of our thoughts and beliefs with you. We completely understand that not everyone will share our beliefs and values and likewise. However, we sincerely pray that we can all be adults. Please remember, we are all adulting and we are here just to walk each other home. That being said, please take with you only what resonates with your soul. Or if you decide that this is just too far outside of your box, please understand that you have the freedom to leave at any moment. The mission statement is as follows. Number one, to assist people in building a relationship with Jesus God and to assist them on their spiritual journey. Number two, to bridge the gap between Christ, human, and animal consciousness. And three, to bring awareness that we are able to do far greater things than Jesus. The laying on of hands and other forms of healings. I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father, John 14, 12. Number four, to understand reincarnation and how the soul evolves in the circle cycle of life. Number five, to embrace the fact that we are all energetic beings and that there is more than meets the physical eye in this multiple dimensional world. Number six, to understand the importance of daily prayer and meditation time. And seven, to unveil the truth and the light and be a beacon of light into a very broken world. Number eight, to serve and heal his kingdom. Moving forward to the vision now. Back in 2008, I began seeing very vivid visions, somewhat like are outlined in the book of Daniel in the Bible. The vision was of a black horse, whom at the time of the vision, I believe was a horse by the name of Indiana Dexter, an unidentified rider wearing white attire, then a white horse whom I believed was Guitardo Top and his rider in black attire. We were even gifted an old wooden church pew at our former barn. Unfortunately, we manifested it and didn't move it, move it with us. When Dexter died at age 29 in 2013, a mere nine days before I closed on this very property, I believe the vision had died as well. Besides, who was going to be the pastor? Too many questions and not enough answers. Then God gifted us a mare by the name of Inner Beauty, and again, I saw the horses dancing and heard clearly, the same song as in the original vision, Healing Begins. Sit back and enjoy as we bring the vision to life.